This is awesome. I won these in a contest from Bandai America. And... Wow, I couldn't be more excited. Let me get these out of the package. But first... Here's what the back of them look like. These are the uh, new Dragon Ball Evolve. 5 inch figures. Hopefully 5 inch scale figures eventually. The uh, Vegeta and Goku look like they scale fairly well together. Vegeta might be a little long-legged and long-armed. Uh, the Broly though, he is pretty small. However, he will scale pretty well with the Shoto Neo figures. I gotta get these things out of the package. Okay, so first of all, if you're a member of DragonBallFigures.com, you know how much I've been looking for these figures. I've been looking everywhere. I checked Target like four times. Four different Targets, sorry. Four different Targets. Checked the one near me three times. Finally talked to somebody. Scanned a... Showed them one of these, a picture of one of these. They scanned it in their little PDA that looks like a phone. And uh, they said that there wasn't a single Target within... I don't know, 50 miles or something that actually had these things. And so, I mean, these are supposed to be available locally. Why, why, why order something online when you can get it locally, right? So, yeah. <laughs> I looked everywhere for these. I am so thrilled. This is the first time in... As far as I remember, since 2005, when Jack Pacific had the license to these, uh, to, to Dragon Ball Z, this is the first time since 2005 when we've actually had 5-inch figures. And what's even better is they don't come with any extra hands or anything. They're just a figure. There's no having to keep up with the package. You can cut the plastic off like I did here. You get to keep all the cool artwork flat. No extra hands, nothing extra. How cool is that? You don't have to worry about where you're going to keep it. You don't have to worry about where you're going to display it. Are you going to like put it at the feet of your character? If you display your figures, like what are you going to do? So first and foremost, that's awesome. And I'm going to finally get these guys out of their chambers. Okay, so, in other reviews I've seen and pictures and everything, these figures look a little bit fragile. I don't think it's because they're fragile. I think it's because they're just so poseable that it's hard to actually get them into a position that's supernatural. Um, Goku, for example, has these little rings right here in his shoulders that allow for a lot of flexibility. But they just kind of float in here, so that's kind of strange. Uh, other people have posted videos of them posing these and stuff. So, I mean, I'm not going to duplicate what they do. To me, these figures are pretty nice. They do have details that aren't painted, that should be painted that I will paint, of course. Um, and the Vegeta has a very slight pupil problem. And a little bit of blue on his face and a little white area as well. This will be very easy for me to fix. But, uh... Oh, and Broly has a little bit of a uh, casting flash right here on his crotch. Ooh. Nobody wants a blurry crotch shot of Broly. Okay, so, uh, yeah, there's just uh, a few little problems here. Very minor. Let's get down to the business I think everybody probably expects me to cover. Okay, so if you're like me, you've been collecting for what feels like forever. I've been collecting since 1998. 
I did have SBC, just Super Battle Collection figures. Uh, I mostly got rid of the majority of those and just have Irwin and Jax. So this Goku has always been the one I've measured everybody by. This Jax Goku, Super Saiyan Goku, is also a pretty diff decent reference point. So let's see how this Super Saiyan Blue Goku compares. He is extremely similar in size to the Jax one. Is he as displayable as a Jax figure? Not quite, because it's hard to get a really decent pose because these are so flexible, but <laughs> if you can't tell, he fits in pretty well. Uh, I even have a bootleg. I don't remember what this is a bootleg of, but it's available on eBay if you want to buy a bootleg. It's in a set of six. I would have to say that this Goku fills in a really good gap in my collection. Okay, now we have the Irwin Vegeta that I use in most comparisons, the one on the right, and a pretty standard Jax release of Vegeta. Uh, the majority of the Jax Vegetas used uh, this body or one similar to it. So let's see how the Vegeta fits in. Now, granted, I haven't I haven't seen them side by side yet, but I will say that Vegeta is obviously drawn taller for whatever reason in Dragon Ball Super Broly. So if he's a little taller, I'll accept it. But not a whole lot taller. Okay, he's a whole lot taller. This body is more appropriate for trunks. I will definitely be shortening this Vegeta. Um, something I find odd about this Vegeta compared to the others is the hair looks really short from the front especially. Compared to the Jax one, not that much different actually. Um, compared to the Irwin one it's quite a bit shorter. I think I'd have to watch the movie again to see if I need to lengthen the hair. I like sculpting. I don't really want to do it, but if it's necessary, it's necessary. Uh, I can also compare with the bootleg from that same set as the Goku. The bootleg has quite a bit larger head than uh, an Urban or Jax figure, especially in the forehead. But it's, it's reasonable. I actually considered this bootleg a little tall. So, yeah. It's probably worthwhile to shorten the Dragon Ball Evolve Vegeta. Okay, now we have Broly. So, this Jax Broly is one that I bought in pretty bad condition. I just have him here for comparison's sake. Super Battle Collection Broly. This is the 1993 version from Japan. Bleach blonde hair. Uh, mine isn't one of the painted skin versions. And the absolutely amazing Dragon Stars Build-A-Figure Broly. It's flawless. It truly is. If you don't own it and you have a 5-inch scale collection, you gotta buy it. The only flaw with it is these visible articulation pegs. That's it. The sculpt is flawless. It, it's really fantastic. And then the Dragon Ball, sorry, Dragon Stars, uh, Dragon Ball Super Broly movie figure. He has some flaws. His boots are extremely tall. His thighs, non-existent on the inside. It, it, it's very unusually proportioned. However, 
Uh, it's a great representation. The hair is fantastic. The sculpt is overall really great. You're not going to find anything better. It scales really well. Broly was not as big as the original Broly from Dragon Ball Z movie... what? Uh, six? Six? Yeah, sure, six. So, how does the Dragon Ball Evolve Broly fit uh, compared to these guys? Well, he's tiny. He's tiny. You don't even need a side-by-side. -side. He's, he's tiny. He doesn't scale. He doesn't scale at all. The um, Dragon Ball Evolve Vegeta, since he's a little tall, I mean, you know, whatever. And then the Goku. This is how Broly and Goku scaled in the movie. This is pretty spot on, honestly. Let me get a nice little side by side. Yeah. These are perfect. If you want the Dragon Ball Evolve, Goku, and Vegeta for your 5 inch scale collection, do yourself a favor. Get Dragon Star's Broly. The scaling is perfect. It, it just really is. There's nothing you complain about. Oh, I can't forget about Figure Arts Golden Frieza. Some of you might be curious about him. Tamashi made him way too small for the general figure art scale of like six inches tall, more or less. Uh, sorry, not six inches tall, but six inch scale. He was always perfect for five inch scale. And he looks fantastic with this group right here. Add him to your collection. There was a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive version from the Dragon Ball World Tour. Get it. If you can't find the original, this is the original one. Okay, so right here is an Ultra Instinct Goku from the Shoto Neo line. <laughs> he looks pretty ridiculous next to this, probably, right? All right. Well, look how he scales with this Broly. I would say that this Broly is actually a little tall compared to this Goku. I mean, just look at his massive feet. But he is overall not bad. If I had any of the hybrid line of figures, if you remember the hybrid action figures or whatever, from, I don't know, around a little over 10 years ago, I believe. They were made by Bandai. They looked fantastic. They were pretty fragile, though. Uh, they're a little bit larger than Shoto Neo. I'd be curious to see this Broly next to one of those. Uh, I believe the uh, legendary Super Saiyan Broly from that line is actually nearly identical in size to this Broly. All in all, I couldn't be happier. Dragon Ball Evolve, great figures. And the articulation being hidden, unlike Dragon Stars, where you can see peg holes and everything. I mean, the Dragon Ball Evolve figures are a lot better looking than Dragon Ball, sorry, Dragon Stars. And I really hope this line continues. We could get a Kefla, a Khalifa, Kale, Kappa, Hit. There are so many great Dragon Ball Super characters that would be amazing in 5 inch scale. Keyword, scale. If they scale well with each other, you get a, a Khalifa that's about this tall about this tall. Perfect. I'll buy them. 
There's other people who have been collecting for 20 plus years who would also buy them. Overall, I'm very excited for this line and I hope it continues.